Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. You know, we can read in the Word, Pray your flight come not in winter, nor on the Sabbath day. Well, today's the last day of winter, um, and the day after tomorrow is Shabbat, the Sabbath. So pray your flight doesn't come tomorrow. Uh, let's talk about bugging out. This is really the worst kind of weather conditions there are for bugging out. It's, it's sleeting, it's snowing. Let's see if I can show you this over here. Snow's on the ground, and yet it's just right at the freezing point, or perhaps just below, so that the ground is wet and muddy, and you know it's barely snow. And so what do you do about that for your bug out gear, for bugging out in this kind of weather? Because we did an Iron Viking that uh, we didn't plan it to be in this kind of weather, but it was in this kind of weather, and it was horrible. And I was down here checking on my horse, and that's what gave me the idea uh, to shoot this video because we can learn some lessons from my horse. Check this out. That's Mosby. What's Mosby doing right now? You can see what he's doing to stay warm. Let's get you a little bit closer. Hey Mosby. Mosby has a waterproof insulated garment on, so do I. Mosby is eating. He's putting calories inside his body, which I just did. Uh, and so in your bug out gear, you need to have insulated clothing. Uh, you know, until it definitely gets warm, until it's definitely summer, you have to have a way to stay warm and you have to have a way to stay dry like my horse. Now unlike the horse, I don't think they make hats for horses. <laughs> you want to have something that you can have on your head. You know, let me set my gloves down. And so, you know, I got a knit hat on and then I have this Gore-Tex cover on top of that and I feel fine. I feel great. Um, the horse doesn't have that, but we do lose, you know, they say 90%. Have I measured it? No. Uh, but we lose a lot of heat through our head and neck area. And so you want to be able to keep that nice and warm if you have to. You need to be able to stay dry. Uh, polypropylene is pretty good <clears throat> in that it, it wicks the moisture away from your body. So if you get a little sweat, it'll wick that away. If you get just a little bit of wet dampness, uh, your body heat will help to wick that away. But ideally, you want to stay dry from the outside. And so have some kind of rain garment in your bob. I know people who carry bobs who don't have uh, rain garments in there, a poncho or a Gore-Tex jacket or something, at the least you could do is put a large contractor trash bag in your bug out gear and you can cut a little slit in one corner of it and put it over your head, have a little point, pointed hat, come down over your neck and shoulders, down to your waist if you get one of those 55 gallon ones. And so, hey, it's, it's a little bit too early uh, down here in the uh, Ozarks to go to our summer bobs yet. We still have to keep some winter gear available. It's good to have warming fluids, uh, the ability to make a fire or fire up a stove and, and put something warm into your body when you get really cold. And so these are things you need to think about because uh, in a few hours, in this kind of conditions, it's going to be hard for somebody who is not very good at it to start a fire. Maybe it's a good idea to go practice starting a fire in this kind of weather, you know? If you're already pretty good at starting a fire, wait till it's raining or wait till it's just finished raining and go out and start a fire. Uh, things to keep warm, things to think about when you're packing your bob. Uh, don't pack your summer bob, don't get rid of your winter gear yet. It's a little bit too early. Uh, winter's last day is today. Spring officially starts tomorrow and I will see you out there.